What's up, everyone? Uh, News FL here, um, and we're back with another video explaining why the Chiefs are in deep trouble. Now, obviously, last year we saw a slight decline from the Chiefs and the that we saw last year, you know, or like two years ago. Obviously, you know, ever since the Buccaneers, you know, destroyed the Chiefs in the Super Bowl. It feels like everyone saw that game and it was like, oh, this is how you beat the Chiefs, in a way. It was something where you put the safeties down. Or I didn't really study into that, but last year the Chiefs struggled, at least for the first half of the season, you know. You know, um, I remember watching one game and they all nearly, like, beat the Chiefs, like, 17 to 14 or something like that. I'm like, what's happened here, you know what I mean? And, I mean, they were able to fix it up, but still, in the playoffs, they were up 20, they were up a large amount of number against the Bengals, and, well, they choked. So, we can't say that they're fully, you know, back to normal. They're not the same dominant team they were, you know, two years ago, three years ago, when they went back-to-back -back Super Bowls, if you know what I mean. Uh, so, yeah. Patrick Mahomes showed a little bit of like a uh, decline last year um, than he usually does. He's still an amazing player, don't get me wrong, but everyone was everyone was a little bit upset and shocked to see that Patrick Mahomes was like, especially that Titans game back in Week Seven. He looked horrendous. He looked horrendous. So yeah. But anyway, um, we're gonna look over the Chiefs schedule this year. Now, I do believe they're going to beat the Cardinals, the Chargers, I don't know, but we do have to discuss the Chargers, the Broncos, the Raiders, basically the Chiefs division this year, this offseason, got a whole lot better. The best division this year is the AFC West by far. So the Chiefs not only got rid of Tyree Kill, traded away to the Dolphins, and got worse, you know what I mean? They saw teams get better in their division so while the Chiefs got worse the Chargers Raiders and Broncos all got better starting with the Chargers they stacked up on defense got JC Jackson um I know I'm forgetting someone oh wait no, no, no I know it is Khalil Mack so they upped their defense while their offense was really good they upped their defense so that'll make them a lot better the Raiders they got Devontae Adams from the Packers they got um Chandler Jones to help defense help Max Crosby so those are big big pieces right there right and so yeah Derek Carr gets to throw to the best receiver in the league right now to boost that offense a bit um, they do have a new head coach but still with that much talent in the receiver room with Darren uh Darren well Darren Waller he's a tight end but still great receiver as a tight end Darren Waller, Devontae Adams, Hunter Runfro, that's just great. The defense with Max Crosby and Chandler Jones in the front seven, you know, they're they're really, really good. So, yeah. And then Broncos, they've always been a good team. They just missed out on quarterback a lot. They had Drew Locke. He sucked. They needed a quarterback. Tried to get Aaron Rodgers, couldn't get him. So they got Russell Wilson, the next best thing. And look at them. Now they have a pretty full team, you know. They got the QB they needed. So now their team could, you know, win games. And, well, I don't know if they're going to make a playoff run. But we just got to see how the team plays. Because Russell Wilson wasn't very good with the Seahawks last year. Despite having DK Metcalf and everything. But uh, this time he's got a better O-line. Russell Wilson, so yeah. And the defense has uh, Justin Simmons. Uh, and, you know, they got Patrick Sertan, like a draft, uh, last year's draft. So, yeah, they have a great team, great offense, defense. And, yeah, moving on, the Chiefs, they verse all, uh, all these teams twice a year because they're in their division. And the fact that they got better, and it's going to be harder to, you know, make a playoff appearance now that they're all better – it's it's gonna be hard, and they did try to replace Tyreek Hill with uh, Marquez Valdez Scanling and Juju Smith Schuster, but let's face it, they're not Tyreek Hill. They can't 
they don't run as quickly as him, and they're just not going to do it. You know, Travis Kelsey is going to get most of the receptions in Kansas City, and um, it's just going to be harder for Patrick Mahomes. And they got no more. Uh, there's no more. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Honey Badger. They don't. They don't have Honey Badger no longer. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's going to be more difficult this year, and they got a tough schedule in my opinion, with everything, you know, especially seeing the Broncos, the Raiders, and the Chargers, uh, you know, twice a year, which all, which is very difficult. And then they see the Rams, the Bengals, uh, the 49ers, the Bills, the Buccaneers, the Colts. Like, it's just really bad for them. And um, Andy Reid and Patrick Holmes have to figure out how to make this work which I believe in them. I'm sure they can do something. But don't be surprised if uh, it's a very close division and they barely make the playoffs. That's my that's my prediction. They have to make a wild card run if they want to go deep in the playoffs because it's going to be very, very hard uh, to win games this season, especially for the Chiefs. So, yeah, that's really it. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know if I'm wrong or whatever, but I just think – the Chiefs right now they didn't they didn't have a great off season, you know, especially watching other teams better getting uh, other teams getting better and all that they just got worse. So yeah, that's really it. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.